Hi everyone, welcome to Craft Hive. Let's jump into this new series where we cover all modeling tools in Maya. Without wasting time, let's dive right into it. Freeze Transform. This tool zeroes out all of your local transform values while keeping its current world space position and magically solves a ton of issues that you will certainly encounter. Delete History. Key bound by default to Alt Shift D. Give your model a nice reboot and let go of your old transforms and modifications. Always good to use when debugging almost any issue and to clean up your scene so that it doesn't get unnecessarily heavy. Center Pivot. Exactly what it sounds like, it centers the pivot of your manipulator back to the center of the object. Insert Edge Loop Tool. This quickly adds a single supporting edge or multiple edges to your model. Extrude. This extrudes faces, edges, out of your model to build out new forms on your object. Bridge Tool. This one bridges any number of equal edges together on a model. Quad Draw. This tool allows you to freeform draw some faces on any live surface. It's incredibly handy for retopo work as you can create any topology you want while snapping to the shape of the existing model. Fill Hole. A quick way to close off missing faces to your model. Combine and Separate. Again, exactly what it says, group up or ungroup polygons as needed. Extract and Duplicate. This allows you to extract selected faces from an object, or duplicate, to extract the faces but keep the original model intact. Bevel. Add supporting edges to your model, or bevel edges to create nice rounded edges. Reverse normals. This will flip the normals of your model to either be pointing inwards or outwards. If you notice your entire model is black, your first instinct should be to try and reverse its normal. Circularize. This will take your current selected edges, or verts, and align them to create a perfect circle. Target Weld. This will merge two components together by dragging one to another very quickly. Merge, or merge to center. This merges either two different objects, components together, or a group of components to a center. Similar to Target Weld, this is useful for merging multiple verts together simultaneously. Note that the edges have to be part of the same object. This is where combining the geo ahead of time is handy. Smooth, automatically add subdivisions to your model to smooth the surface. Pressing three on your keyboard will give you an approximation of what it would look like smooth. Transform. This tool allows you to transform components such as vertices, edges, or faces relative to the object's normals. This is very useful for adding thickness to objects such as tubes, cables, and other pipe-like objects long after you think it's too late. Booleans. This allows you to either combine your objects into one seamless model, cutting out and connecting the intersecting faces, or to cut out a piece of your model driven by another source mesh, or even generate a mesh from the intersection of two objects. Remesh Retopo. This can be really useful to clean up your model's topology in a quick and easy way. You first remesh your object, and then retopo it to get a nice clean topology. You'll often have to redo some things by hand, but it gives you a pretty good start. Slide Edge. Allows you to move your selected edge along the surface of your model while respecting the shape. So if you like this video, stay tuned for the next one, where we'll cover the rest of the modeling tools in Maya. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also check out our Instagram to show us your support. Bye!